In our video today, we're going to take a look at how you can replicate calculations that you've created in Excel very easily in Oracle Apex as an end user. This is the first of a three-part series on different ways you can do this. So for starters, I have a spreadsheet here. You can see uh, calculations in on a few columns. And what we're going to do is go ahead and save this as a CSV to start. Now once saved, what I like to do is immediately uh, kind of delete and remove the columns where the calculations exist because we're going to recreate those in Oracle Apex. With my CSV in place, I'm going to go over to our SQL Workshop into Data Utilities. Data Workshop. Let's go ahead and load the data. Call this Team Stats as our new table name. We can preview uh, that the data is being mapped correctly. It looks like most everything is coming in as a number, which is what we want. Go ahead and hit Save Changes. And now we'll load the data. With the data loaded, um, what we're going to do next to kind of enable this is to go into one of our applications and we're going to create a new page uh, with an interactive report. And the interactive report will actually enable our end users to create the calculations um, that existed in the spreadsheet. So for this, we're going to go down and choose our team stats table and hit create page. Once the page is created, uh, we'll go ahead and launch it. And we're going to go, we can see our data here, but this is an interactive report. So we're actually going to go down under data and create a new calculation. Uh, we'll call this average. And we're going to essentially uh, create the person's batting average from their at bats and their hits. Now to do this, we're going to start by putting the round function in. And then the calculation itself is the number of hits divided by the number of at bats. We want this to be to three decimal places. And we'll go ahead and put the end and hit apply. All right, now we can see our average came over here. So I did the calculation. Uh, now if we want to move that anywhere on the report, we can simply go to columns. And we'll move this towards the top just so it's easier for this example. All right, now you look at this and you're like, oh man, it looks pretty cool. but this person batting 320, um, you know, it's cutting off the zero. So how can we fix that? So anytime if you want to change a calculation, you can go back in. And in this case, we're going to leave the calculation as is, but we're going to put a format mask. And to make it fit what our, for example, we're going to take one of the decimal points off. And we'll remove this. Go ahead and hit apply. And there we go. Now to save our report, so this calculation will be there the next time we come back. We can go save report. And hit apply. OK. So really quickly, that's how you can, if you have end users and you have data and they want to be able to create calculations on the information, um, one way to do it through an interactive report. In our next video, we'll take a look at a little bit more advanced approach, um, creating calculations on the table itself through virtual columns.